hello guys uh, welcome back so we'll continue further uh, with the zombie ai so in last video uh, if you have completed it successfully you should your zombies should behave something like this so you can adjust uh, that uh, distance from 300 to a different value if you want, want it to move even further okay now uh, okay now uh, the zombie runs to that uh, uh, roaming point, but I, I don't want my zombie to run uh, while uh, it's roaming. I want it to uh, use the walk animation. So let's adjust that here. So I'll, I'll create a, a separate function to set character speed. You can very well set the speed uh, inside the tick events also, but I, I just wanted to keep it, uh, 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 you know, uh, keep it as a separate function. But it's, it's your uh, choice. You can you can even put these values or the logic within the tick events. So we will set the values here and use the branch and go. So we will set the max walk speed here. So if can roam is true, we will set the walk max walk speed to 45 or else let this be 0 and while uh, chasing the player, we will set this to we will set this to our max speed. And here uh, we have to check one more thing. So we want the uh, zombie to stop when it is near the player. So create a variable. If it is false, we connect it here. If it is true, we will make the walk speed to zero. Okay, so we have set it. Now let's see how it behaves okay still it runs okay the problem was uh, we just created this uh, uh, function but it didn't call it in tick so go to event graph and call this function and let's see now okay so now the character walks to the target point. Waits there for some time, then looks for the second point. Okay, so this is what is expected. So this looks fine. Now uh, we have to make the character to uh, uh, chase the player. So for that, we'll add one more event okay so we before uh, we populate anything inside the uh, chase player we have to create couple more uh, uh, things one is zombie AA controller because from AA controller only we will we can uh, let the uh, uh, zombie know that uh, it has uh, uh, it, it has seen the player. A controller select. Zombie AA controller. And we have to uh, link this to the character. So come here on 
save the zombie controller here now open the a controller and even grab we will uh, set the usual thing cast to zombie character cast to zombie character base then Okay, this should be fine. Now add uh, AA perception. On AA perception, uh, we have to enable uh, sight sense. So if you are following the tutorial from the beginning, uh, you would already know what we are uh, trying to do here because we did the same thing on uh, our uh, patrol AI. So uh, this is almost similar to that and uh, make sure you select the neutrals and friendly so after this uh, once you enable this only your uh, zombie character will be able to see your uh, player character okay add an event on perception updated so in future we will also add uh, uh, hearing sense, uh, damage sense, something like that. So it's better uh, uh, we use on perception updated so that uh, all, all the senses are detected here. So get the zombie riff and we will make sure the zombie is not dead. Uh, zombie state. Not Dead. So the zombie will see uh, a lot of other actors also. So we have to make sure that uh, it reacts only when it sees the player. So from the array, we are making sure that the player character has tag. So this we have set already. So I am just entering here. If you have not set this, open your uh, player character. Open your player, player character and uh, click on self, then search for tags and add player here. So this is what we are going to check. And again put a branch. So get the perception. So get actors perception. Oh, sorry, again. Okay. This should be the actor and split info. So as I said, uh, since we will be enabling other senses also, that will be stored in an array. So we will do a for each. And promote this to variable. So this is almost the same thing we did uh, while we created the patrol AI.
so we have uh, the location of uh, uh, sense trigger so put that in a variable so that it will be easy for us to access in the later point and receiver location is our zombies location so the reason we are switching on int is on the array index we will have the different uh, senses that's triggered so here we just have uh, uh, the site uh, a site enabled but uh, once we add other senses that will be in uh, array 0 1 2 and 3 so 0 is site sense so let's create a custom event site sense and connect that here okay and on site sense we will add the logic on what to do after uh, seeing the player So the site sense gets updated uh, uh, every time when it sees the player and also when the player is out of sight. So we have to make sure which one we are responding to. So if it is true for now we will just print the string in player. Top site. Let's try this now. So, I think it has seen the player. Let's go ahead. We are getting out of sight. Player is seen out of sight. Okay. So the site sense works fine. In next video, we will continue further and update it to uh, chase the player. Thanks for watching. Bye.